Welcome to USMLE Memorizations. Today we're going to talk about Heart sounds, mitral valve prolapse, mitral stenosis, and mitral regurgitation. In what group of patients will mitral valve prolapse most commonly occur in? Mitral valve prolapse most commonly occurs in young women and patients with Marfan syndromes. What is the characteristic sound that can be heard in mitral valve prolapse? In mitral valve prolapse, a characteristic sound is the mid-systolic click. In what group of patients will mitral stenosis most commonly occur in? Mitral stenosis most commonly occurs in patients that have suffered from rheumatic heart disease as well as atrial fibrillation patients. What is a characteristic sound that can be heard in mitral stenosis? Characteristic sounds of mitral stenosis includes diastolic rumble and an opening snap. In what group of patients will mitral regurgitation most commonly occur in? Mitral regurgitation most commonly occurs in patients that have suffered from an MI due to papillary muscle effect. There is also patients that have suffered from acute rheumatic fever and endocarditis. What is a characteristic sound that can be heard in mitral regurgitation? The characteristic sounds that can be heard in a mitral regurgitation includes a hollow systolic murmur that is transmitted to the axilla. For more information on this topic and for a full USMLE Step 1 review, click on the link in the description section below. So this was a quick video in question and answer format. These short videos are to help you recall and memorize high yield facts that are commonly seen on the USMLE. We recommend that you pause this video after every question and try to answer it on your own to see how well you can remember important information. If this video helped you, please be sure to share it on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+, as well as you can check out our main YouTube channel, which is called USMLE Fast Track, and there you will find videos from the first date for the USMLE, Step 1. Thank you for watching.